Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of What's Cooking with Zucchini. Today I'm going to be making Thai lettuce chicken wraps and I've got all my ingredients from zucchini here. So I'm going to start off by chopping all the vegetables and putting it aside and I think one thing to note about lettuce wraps is that you can use any type of lettuce that you'd like. I'm going to use crispy salanova lettuce from zucchini and also you can substitute a lot of these vegetables for things that you like so you could use sweet corn i don't know butternut squash whatever vegetables you'd like and you could also substitute the chicken for ground turkey ground steak meat or you know whatever you like so this is a very versatile recipe so we have to grate some carrots which i've already prepared then we'll start with the green onion The recipe's called cool for like four cloves of garlic, but I love my garlic. So I'm gonna use a whole bulb for this. Then we're gonna go in with half a cabbage. Oh, I hope I'm strong enough to. Oh, beautiful. Then we're gonna cut cilantro and I use the stem. I just use everything. So I put the onion in the freezer for a few minutes so that it doesn't make me cry. Wow, and that really works. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my sauce. We're using hot and sweet sauce, soy sauce and peanut butter because this is a Thai inspired chicken. Yeah. You can be generous, very generous with your peanut butter. Soy sauce, and then I love chili so I'm just going to put quite a bit of that. Right, and then we're going to add some coriander. Okay, so I've chopped up all my ingredients and I've got this multi cooker from Hot Point which is super convenient to use. And basically it uses a lot less oil and it's self-stirring. So you just put on the timer, let it do its thing and I can go off and, you know, either attend to my kids or do whatever else I need to do while it cooks itself. Okay, and we're going to get started with the chicken, onions and garlic. That always goes in first with a little bit of salt, pepper and olive oil. And you close that and put your timer on and I'm going to put it in there for 10 minutes and then throw in the rest of the ingredients later. Okay, so that's done and now we're going to add in the cabbage, carrots and green onions. We're just going to add in the rest of the coriander and the sauce. So everything is ready and it smells and looks delicious and this multi cooker is really convenient because you can lift up the sides so that you don't have to you know start fiddling in there to spoon. You just take this part out. This is really nice maybe like as a appetizer at a party. See how this tastes. Let's put some chicken there. So good. Those flavors are just so beautiful. And I really like how evenly the hot point cooker cooked it. It's and it mixed everything really well together and like everything's just infused together really beautifully. So it's I really advise you guys to go and check this out if you if you haven't already. 